Uncle Sam Mug, black coffee, eight o'clock brand. Who didn't know that? Peterson Pot with uh, Gatlin Burlier, uh, Cavendish, Cavendish Cove, whatever it's called. A little too mild for me. I just got one ounce from it, of it, on a whim. Just a little too mild, but I'll smoke it. It's not bad, not bad. Humid here. We got tornado warnings and watches for this area. Beaver County, Pittsburgh, which is 25 miles to the northwest of me. And uh, Pittsburgh is in Allegheny County. I'm in Beaver County. Cloudy, humid. Anyway, what's everybody doing today? Grandson is eight. We're having a birthday party for him about two o'clock. Hopefully the storms will hold off. Uh, we're having that outside at my uh, first ex-wife's house, grilling, you know, food on a grill. Hopefully the storms will hold off, but I don't think they will. Uh, what's everybody got going on? Fourth of July, Thursday. Now, is this the 4th of July weekend or is next weekend considered the 4th of July weekend? Personally, I would think since 4th of July is on Thursday, next weekend would be the logical 4th of July weekend. I don't know. I could be wrong because I usually am. <laughs> yeah, um... Pipes, do you smoke one pipe all day as I do? So this Peterson pot, I'll smoke it all day, about 14 to 16 bowls. Ample pipe cleaners through it. And then I'll put it away and I won't pick this up for maybe a month, maybe two months with all my pipe rotation. But uh, I never, never got into the thing of smoking a pipe once or twice and then putting it away and getting another one. That's nonsense to me. Old codger. Smoke the pipe all day. Then you let it rest. The pipe can handle it. Briars are tough. Corn cobs are tough. Can handle it. Uh, here's one for you. If you could say you were a tobacco producer, you own a tobacco pipe tobacco company, and I'm going to throw cigars in there just for fun. What would you name one or two, three? of your pipe tobacco blends and what would you name your cigar? Now, I would name, I would name one or two uh, steel worker because my dad was a steel worker. Beaver County has a strong steel working history as well as the Pittsburgh area, uh, Eastern Ohio, Cleveland, uh, Youngstown, which is near me, uh, the border, Ohio border is near me. Wheeling, West Virginia, which is 40 minutes from here, another strong steelworking area. So I would name mine Steelworker. Another blend I would name Coal Miner. Uh, being uh, Welsh descent, dad born in Wales, mother's parents born in Wales. Uh, coal mining was a very, very uh, respected uh, occupation in Wales and still is. A skillful coal miner, worth his weight in gold. And it is also, it also was at one time, a very popular profession job here in Pennsylvania. Uh, 
as you know or don't know, during the Civil War, during the Siege of Petersburg, Virginia, the Union Army used Pennsylvania coal miners to blow up the fortifications around Petersburg, the dreaded crater, and then the battle followed uh, in the crater, but we're not here to talk about that. Just a little tidbit. Then I would probably, and this is going out, not a good codger, not lighting it codger style. Not a good codger here. Then living in Pennsylvania, I would probably maybe name an aromatic, uh, yeah, Pen Pennsylvania Dutch apple, uh, Pennsylvania Amish apple, something like that. Uh, Revolutionary War buff that I am, Colonial American buff, uh, history buff that I am. I would maybe name one blend, Flintlock, Flintlock rifle. So yeah, those would be some of mine. I would love to hear yours, I really would. Put them in the comments. Man, get that noggin going. Let me know if you own a tobacco company, if you had a new cigar line, pipe tobacco line, what would you name them? Love to hear it. I'm going to be looking at the comments. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everybody has a good day. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Good Lord willing.